Hi everyone, my name is Miss Sam from the Saddlebrook branch of the Omaha Public Library and today we are talking about letter knowledge. One part of letter knowledge is knowing that letters are different from each other and that the same letter can look different depending on whether it is uppercase or lowercase. You can help your child work on letter knowledge at home with this activity. So with any book that you're reading together, let your child look for the first letter of their name. A child's own name is super important to them and using the letters in it is a good way to introduce them to letters in general. Since it applies directly to them, they will likely be enthusiastic about learning. So the first part of our activity is to write down the first letter of our name on a piece of paper so that we know what to look for. Since my first name is Sam, I'm going to write the upper and lowercase letter S. So does anyone notice some familiar shapes in the letters that I just wrote? When I look at the letter S, I notice a round shape right here that looks almost like half of a circle on top of another round shape that looks like half of a circle. And the same thing for the lowercase version. Researchers have found that children identify letters by the shapes that make them up. So by writing them down like this and identifying the shapes in them, that can help us find the letters on the page in our activity. So now that we know what we're looking for, let's read a page from our book. And today I will be reading a page from Jabari Jumps by Gaia Cornwall. Jabari took a deep breath. Let's all take a deep breath. <sighs> and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. So let's count how many times we see our letter on the page. I'm looking for the letter S. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. How many times did you guys find the letter that you were looking for? Good job. So let's all count together on our fingers how many times we found our letter. So I found the letter S five times, so I'm gonna count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So counting on our fingers like this gives us a little bit of bonus fine motor skills practice. So being able to move our fingers individually like this will help us hold our pen or our pencil when we learn to write. So as you guys get more familiar with letter knowledge, you can try looking for other letters from your child's name or letters from family members' names or things that they like. And as you get even more advanced, you can try listening for the sounds of the letters as you read. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we look forward to seeing you back in the branches soon. Bye.